So, the, uh, the new book, $12.99 at the back of the room after the show, <laughs> <laughs> has, uh, has just come out. It's called Holly Jolly Frivolity. And uh, I thought I would uh, share a, few of the, a couple of the stories with you through the show. My Christmas shopping doesn't involve camping. Family Christmas celebrations, as time goes on, they change. We've gone from having Christmases with just the two of us, to the joys of Christmas with small children, to the massive wish lists of older kids, and now on to adult children. Each phase has been quite different. This is now the 27th Christmas since Mike was born. That first Christmas with him was filled with new experiences. I learned the hard way that I should always read the boxes the gifts came in, so as not to be surprised at midnight on Christmas Eve when I discovered those three little words that mean so much, some assembly required. <laughs> some assembly I could handle, even with my limited handyman skills. Spending three hours in the basement trying to fit wheel A onto axle D of a ride-on car sapped me of my warm thoughts about the joyous season. Mike had a great time playing with it on Christmas morning. It, however, was not the car I'd spent the night building and that I'd sacrificed the skin on my knuckles for when wheel A slipped off axle D. It was the box the car came in. <laughs> As the boys got older, I was glad I managed to escape the insanity of Cabbage Patch doll pandemonium and the lunacy of Tickle Me Elmo shortages. I never had to line up for any of those things they wanted, nor did I ever have to fight another shopper for an annoying, giggling, stuffed animal. Until this year. My youngest son would like to add a Nintendo Wii to his apartment decor. If any of you have tried to get one of these things this year, you'll know how futile a pursuit that has become. I thought it would just be a case of visiting my local Best Buy and picking one up off the shelf. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> when I stopped by the store recently, I discovered that they were out of stock. I asked the salesman when they might be getting more in. Probably Friday, he said, but I noticed he was smirking as he said it. As it happened, I had to be near the store on the Friday in question for an appointment. I'd be able to get to the store just before it opened and still make my meeting in time. There was a large crowd outside the store when I pulled into the parking lot. When I got close to the door, I was able to see a sign that said that they had indeed received a shipment of Nintendo Wiis and were handing out tickets on a first-come, first-served basis. I made the mistake of asking a bleary-eyed man where to get one of those tickets. You'd have to have been here last night at 5.30 with the rest of us, he said. <laughs> I looked at the group that stood around the door clutching their tickets and doing that little dance that said that it had been 16 hours since they had seen the inside of a restroom. I don't camp in the summer in campgrounds with hot and cold running water, I said, so I don't think I'll be up for doing it in a parking lot with no running water. Every time I mentioned the words running water, I noticed that several other groups started dancing faster. It gave me an idea. Well, at least you were out of the rain and didn't have to stand in those great big puddles, I said. The dancing sped up even more, and there were a few painful moans from members of the group. Lucky you won't be here tonight, I added. The radio says we're to get two inches of rain overnight. I bet those gutters will overflow with that much water. One man screamed and ran for the bushes at the back of the store. I was really hoping he'd drop his ticket, but I guess after so many hours, it was locked in his grip. Cruel? Well, maybe a little. But had I succeeded, I wouldn't still be looking for a Nintendo Wii. Whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs>